Well, it's another good weekend. It's, of course, uh, it's motorsport. Uh, at this very much of the top of the hour, that's when you always uh, expect it to be gruesome on your TV sets. Uh, uh, waiting. And I know many of you have sent already messages about, of course, how uh, kindly uh, beg you to be just either way. By the time we are going to essentially let on uh, the phone calls in, we would like you not to just uh, hear yourself on TV, but you keep on the TV, put your volume of the level of your TV, then definitely we shall be able to communicate. Uh, of course, I'm um, Frank I we're going to present you this uh, day. Actually, it has been over a good weekend. It was a nice happening weekend last week, and of course, the same weekend as uh, is going to be much packed with the Formula One round eight that is going to be running in Baku. It's one of the few challenging uh, uh, stages over with the, so far the runs that have been taken on onto the rally, the, the championship of the, the Formula One. And of course, uh, it has been, we are seeing drastic changes in WRC, the normal, the non uh, winners of the rally, things are changing. And of course, we are seeing a try out by I-20, the Hyundai guys team is trying to give Axel Wojen a run for their money and it has been happening. And of course, there has been an exchange of wins and of course, uh, uh, we had a nice over happening. Uh, big up to Eric Zamita. You gave us, you kept us posted of what was uh, happening down in Italy, uh, and of course that was so nice of you. And we hope we are going to be starting off and of, uh, and in the other second break, uh, we are going to have our local a bit of the content. We talk about what is going to be happening in the next weekend. That is in uh, the round four of the National Motocross Championship that is said to be held at Uganda Motorsport Arena, Busika. With guess what? The man who was in 2013 here, that is the freestyler, the so freestyler, is in the house said to be to spicing up that event in Busika and of course the Kabarega rally. That's after Busika. Get yourself set to move or trek another way out of Kampala to the land of uh, the Omukam of Nyoro, that is in the Kabalega land. Uh, that's where we'll be having the, uh, the fifth round of the National Rally uh, Championship. And away from there, uh, let's get start off straight away with uh, Formula One, uh, with the highlights of what happened down in uh, Canada, the Canadian Grand Prix. Uh, it was another rejuvenation moment uh, for Lewis Hamilton, and he had one of uh, our much highly cited uh, words of wisdom saying, if it was the sting of the bee, it was uh, a wonderful celebration for Tim uh, Mercedes. As in his uh, teammate, Nico Rosberg, those whom I have seen him, he made a mistake in the last corner that was looping him over uh, to have his uh, another podium finish. But unfortunately, it wasn't that as much happening. And so it did not uh, work out for him. But save for the lucky moment that the fellow, the Sebastian Oje guys, uh, uh, tried their best, uh, the Sebastian Vettel of the general. They tried their best to do beat up with the competition with the team Mercedes. Uh, let's get a bit of the ambience here and have it uh, see how Lewis Hamilton emerged as in the best in the Canadian Grand Prix. That is another moment we, we are just giving you a hint of what happened and as in the, uh, the producers of the show are going to try to fix up with uh, how the podium celebration was for Rhys Hamilton bagging his second uh, win for the season. Remember the first four rounds, actually the first five rounds were won by different drivers with his teammate Nico Rosberg having four at his, under his belt this year and now the youngster that is uh, under a uh, Philali signing that is uh, the youngster, the, the 18 year old, uh, made his maiden on, the, on his maiden appearance. Uh, he won uh, uh, one of the rounds that have so far been run. And of course, we're seeing still uh, Team Mercedes uh, with Nico Rosberg still holding up on top. Uh, and of course, uh, with the bugging of the, his second uh, win in the season, uh, Nico Ro uh, Lewis Hamilton kept a second uh, uh, that is uh, uh, behind his teammate. Uh, we still see have uh, this time around, unlike uh, the past uh, year, that's 2015. Uh, they are about to have over 18 rounds of Formula 1. And you guess that's what it means. The best man and the best preparer will be the guys to beat up uh, other teams. Uh, let's look for the ambience of how uh, those guys, uh, Harris Hamilton, in one of the loops, uh, made it over 
to beat his teammate uh, with other Ferrari drivers. Uh, of course, uh, Sebastian Vettel uh, trying in with Danny. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen also tried his best, but of course, uh, Danny Ricciardo was another best of uh, the riders on the day. As in, we get before getting that, we get as in after that, we shall also go straight to uh, the practices that have been held in Baku, where, of course, it seems like the form, Lewis Hamilton is repeating his form, and of course, he did. Uh, uh, took up the lead in all the far, the so far practices they have gone uh, running in Baku. With one of the groups being a little bit tricky, uh, the, of course we had earlier conference from drivers, uh, many of them citing a little bit of the Baku circuit, the street circuit being a little bit uh, so much with loops and uh, sharp bends. Uh, that, uh, you know what that means uh, to the guys uh, who are running under the circuit. Let's get to see, uh, into look into the Baku uh, Grand Prix uh, as in where the action is taking over this weekend, that's tomorrow. Well, as, uh, we, our, we always want to throw the real image of how the guys are going to be racing. And of course, I know many of you are so much of uh, close uh, supporters of the different riders on the world uh, circuit. And of course, we always uh, try to bring it the picture nearer to you. Well, we just wait to you. Those who are missing, you can still go on Super Sport 9 and uh, get uh, much action happening. That is in tomorrow. As the boys get to race against each other to see who keeps up the head up. Of course, Luis Hamilton has already had the fastest postage times uh, against his teammate, uh, Nico Rosberg, and of course, Ferrari's driver, that is uh, Sebastian Vettel, and of course, Dan, uh, uh, Kimi Raikkonen trying to put up a steep uh, competition against the team Mercedes. Away from there, we go. Let's uh, walk you through the highlight of uh, the weekend ended uh, uh, rally of uh, the Sardian rally over Italy, uh, where we had much action happening. Let's get a bit of how the Hyundai i20. Kept on the heel lead from Saturday to the close of the Super Special uh, Power Stage uh, with the trailing moment of, uh, of course, the Vax Awardian team. That is uh, Yari Rativara, one of my smartest drivers. I always uh, cry out to. And of course, the defending champion, uh, world defending champion, that is Sebastian Oje. They tried to trail around uh, the I 20. But of course, I liked, actually, in the course of the week, I liked the statement from Yari Rativara and his team and saying, of course, if that was uh, what uh, Tuel Nive has trailed against us. Uh, He's much of a better to win. And of course, uh, the I-20 driver went ahead to win that uh, much as the rally claimed there's some other earlier casualty that is done solo. And of course, another I-20 driver, Hayden Pardon, had his, uh, he painfully uh, waved bye-bye to the stage. As you may see there, he flipped off Lord and you see he was already in the frags. That thing gives me a hint that that's Hayden Pardon. Uh, the man uh, who crashed out. <laughs> uh, let me not uh, take much of this. What let's hear from the guys themselves telling us what happened and what uh, costed them such a moment of celebration. Such a stupid mistake is uh, it's pretty gut-wrenching, especially two rallies in a row and coming off the high of Argentina, it's all sort of come uh, crashing down again. That's the leaders, Sebastian Ogier is in third place, with 55 seconds to find to catch the front runner. The French world champion started the event well, leading off the first stage, but dropped two places on Friday. <laughs> Yari Mati Latvala moved ahead of Ogier after stage two and currently sits in second place. He fought hard yesterday to get the lead, only to lose it. Now he's clawing back seconds with each stage to close the gap with Thierry Neuville in first. Belgian maintained his overnight lead and has been in confident form this morning. He faces fierce competition from Latvala, the dust and the heat, and a good road position seems to agree with the Belgian this time around. So this is how the leaderboard looks after stage 12. Andreas Mikkelsen in fifth, Mads Osberg in fourth, three tenths of a second behind Ogier. Latvala stays second, 
but with a three second lead, it's Thierry Neuville in first. Well, that's what happened in the last hours. As we get to close over to this first segment, let my producer give us the last bit where well, the power stage uh, that had the little bit of some uh, guys. That's the man of the day, Yari Rati, actually. Fjernover. It happened uh, the I 20 uh, having problems. The uh, mechanical hinks, as may be seen there, that's done solo with another person. There's some spot where the other card earlier dropped off. Uh, it happened. Let's have the bit of the ambience and of course we drive out to the end of uh, the first break and uh, we shall come back to uh, locally and get it from there. Let's get the bit start of how it happened at uh, a stage as the guys trailed each other to make the fastest uh, postage terms. Save for I-20, that's uh, Thiel Novell. And then Yazid Al Raji rolled their cars during the day's opening stage and in exactly the same place. Gorbin was the first to make the error, launching his mini toward the crowd. Raji joined him not long after. The two left the stage after less than a kilometre. As for those in front, Sebastian Ogier ended the day in third after losing his overnight lead on the opening stage. The French champion has gone three rounds now without a first place finish. He won this event last year, but knows a repeat is a big ask when first on the road. His VW teammate, Yari Mati Lapla, finished second. He never recovered after losing his hard fought lead on stage seven. Early consecutive stage wins and strong performances from stage seven onwards saw Thierry Nerva clinch the top spot for the day. The Belgian hasn't been on the podium since Monte Carlo, but he battled hard with Lapla to keep his place at the top. So, with nine stages gone, this is how the leaderboard looks. Mads Osberg down in fifth, Andreas Mikkelsen fourth, a little under a minute behind the leader. In third, Sebastian Ogier, 30 seconds behind Lapala, but with an 11-second lead is Thierry Neuville. 